Hey, what is going on everybody? Chalk here, and today we're going to show you guys how to successfully transfer from an Xbox save, which is where we are here, off Xbox Live, to your private server of your choice. Let's see here. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is, of course, after you've played on the Xbox, pull up on a Windows PC, or any PC, but Microsoft Store, and we're going to download the PAL world from here. This is kind of, in a weird way, kind of like an Xbox emulation. Then, once that's done, on your PC, pull up PAL world, and you're going to jump onto PAL world, and you're going to run around for a little bit, and pretty much we just want the game to kind of register a little local save. Okay. Then there's going to be two separate uh, files that you're going to need to download. That's going to be in the the description below as well as you're going to need some sort of FTP client. Some browsers will have built-in FTP clients in them and if not you can just download FileZilla like I did. Now the very first program we're going to need is we're going to need the we're going to access the XGP save extractor and what that's going to do is once you run it it's going to run pretty quick it's going to give you a zip folder in this zip folder is going to be, let's drag it over here. In this zip folder is going to be our saved data. Now, depending on how many files you have will depend on how many worlds you have. For myself, my world with the largest size happened to be the, uh, the saved data that had the most progress. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use that one. We'll disregard this other one here. Now, let's pull up our FTP client I again am using FileZilla and on your server your Netrato servers what I'm going to be using the IP and port is fine as this is like a public server uh, we'll go ahead and stop the server once it's stopped we will go ahead and access the file or the the server your depending on your host might look a little bit different but what we're after is the FTP credentials and we're going to go ahead and log in to our FTP client. So once we're on the right side, the right hand side, we're going to go to PAL world, PAL, saved, saved games, zero. You may have multiple of these. If it's a fresh, if it's a fresh uh, server, you may just have one of these files here. Go ahead and open it up. Inside here, we're going to find players and level and, and the uh, level meta. Now, from our Xbox save that we've that we have uh, successfully backed up here, we're going to open our save file again. I'm going to go to the bottom one, and we have player save and all that. Player save. We are just going to copy over the players and the level and the level meta. We're going to copy that over, and it's going to ask us to. So you to override and we will then I what I ended up doing again was I went back into players and you see I have a ton of them I went and deleted everything went into players and drag and dropped I still have players that w just won't go away so this might be an issue just happening on my side then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and back out restart our server and you should, if everything is done correctly, you should be able to be prompted with creating a character. Which if you're creating a character for the first time, once you load in, hopefully you guys will see bases like I did. I had a base over here on the left hand side. So I knew that this was only in my single player co-op. So I knew I was successfully in the world I needed to be while on my multiplayer server. So then I stop the server once again, re-access those exact files, re-downloaded them into a different folder that was in right here. I'm going to use the Power World hosts save to access now our save file. So what we're going to do is we're going to open it up. We're going to hit browse and we're going to have a look at the level.sav that we've extracted. 
Once we do that, we just gotta wait for it to load and convert. It's kind of converting everything to a a dot JSON, so then we can do a little bit of editing, but it's super easy to do. Hats off to the developer. So here we are. So now what we need to do is we have we're presented with two down arrows. Select the first one. We gotta know who is who. Well, I know I'm level 26, and I also know that I'm player 624 because I was just logged on to Maxbox. Uh, you're going to select Chucks Gaming, and once I, then we'll hit the migrate button, and you'll have to do this with every individual character that you have. Once that's done, we're going to re-upload this folder back to our server folder on the FTP client. Once that's done, it is now time to knock on a little bit of wood and hit the start server button. And if everything works out well, you should be presented with a respawn screen. It, the game might bug out like it did me, zoom me over to where my character was, and then there you go. We have successfully transferred a character from the Xbox Co-op Game Pass all the way to our own dedicated Steam server. Now you can play this on a Steam client, or if you guys are wanting to do this for crossplay purposes, take your, your save file and put it on a server for crossplay. You now have the tools available to do that. Hopefully this helped you guys out. I am no way an expert on transferring uh, save files over, but you guys can join my Discord. We have a bunch of people who've done Linux to Windows and Windows to Linux, and you name it, they've done it. I've done Windows to Windows and now Xbox to Windows. Please like, subscribe, comment below, and we'll catch you guys next time.